Hey guys, Brandon at Triumph here today. Just want to talk to you a little bit about K-Bar Knives. A couple interesting uh, points. Um, their name, first of all, uh, dates back to the early 1900s when a fur trapper wrote a testimonial to the company. He wrote while he was trapping that this gum jammed, leaving him with only his knife to kill the wounded bear that was attacking him. He wrote the company and thanked them for making a quality knife that helped him kill a bear. But all that was really legible on the note was K, an A, and a bar. It says K a bar. Kill a bear. Kill a bar. Honored by the testimony, the company uh, adopted the phrase K bar as their trademark. Um, the knife has uh, been adopted by the military to quite the extreme. Um, shortly after the start of World War II, K bar began working with Marine Quartermaster to design a fighting knife for the United States Marine Corps. Soon production was underway and the fighting utility knife that would later become a K-Bar was a widely recognized name. Um, long story short, they uh, took it through the whole military and became the, the primary knife for the Marine Corps um, and soon was adopted by the Army and the Navy and the Coast Guard. Uh, underwater demolition teams and whatnot. So uh, these knives were dependent on to perform daily tasks and pounding stakes and digging foxholes and really put through the ringer as far as uh, the use that they've gotten over the years. Um, today the K-Bar fighting utility knife remains the first choice to many of the troops who choose to carry it as their personal option knife. Because of the consistent quality and history of the K-Bar is also the favorite among adventurers, survivalists, outdoor sportsmen, collectors. The uh, history on this knife is uh, pretty extensive, and I'll tell you what, they make a beast of a knife. Um, they've got a lot of experience and a lot of uh, testing behind the knives uh, in true field testing, so the uh, experience is there for making a quality product. All right, hey guys, it's Brandon at Triumph. And there she is, my K-Bar from Rebar. It's my custom K-Bar knife that my friend Rebar sent me. Uh, if you don't know Rebar, you need to go check him out. Liberty Rogue Outdoors. He's got an excellent channel. He is a crazy wild man of a woodsman living in the deep woods of Maine. And he, uh, he knows his crap. Uh, Rebar was a... Uh, Marine during the Gulf War, and he probably had a military K bar on his side as his main supplied knife. He probably fell in love with them and spreading the love to me because as soon as I saw this knife, I fell in love with it. So let's take a little bit closer look here. Obviously, it did not come like this. His buddy. And him collaborated and made this custom sheath. Absolutely impeccable quality. Just beautiful. Exact, I couldn't ask for better. Exactly what I would want in a sheath, including the little ferro rod holder on the side. Just beautiful colors, beautiful craftsmanship. The artistic uh, stamps and designs are just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so obviously the knife came with a stock handle which would be this right here. He removed that and replaced the stock handle with uh, custom ironwood grips, which you're seeing right here. Beautiful ironwood grips. They fit my hand like a glove. The, the profile and the shape, absolutely perfect. Just right there. You just can't beat it. It's, it's, like, it's like an extension of my limb. It's, it's perfect. And then, of course, the sheath that came with it was a military uh, tactical style um, sheath, which is really a cool sheath, and the knife still fits it well if I do need a purpose or want to use this as a secondary sheath. Um, I have that option, but the, uh, the plan is to uh, put some wear and weather on this bad boy right here and make this look beautiful and old and used and loved. 
Okay, so the uh, knife, he treated and uh, aged the blade himself with his own special process. I believe uh, vinegar was a part of it, but I'm not sure what all else was involved with the treatment. Um, the steel is D2 steel, high carbon, high quality steel. Uh, probably some of the best steel that you can get. The spine at the thickest point here in the middle of the handle measures in at a true quarter inch. This is, uh, if you could feel this in your hand, you wouldn't believe the weight for the actual size in comparison. Uh, the blade does taper off as you go along and it does thin out towards the end um, to a very beautiful, nice profile as far as uh, the way the taper goes down. So you can see it has a nice high Scandi grind on it, just absolutely beautiful. It's so deep of a grind, gives you a lot of allowance for, for your sharpening and getting your uh, razor's edge on there. Um, just an absolutely beautiful knife. I, I am just digging it like beyond. Um, one another favorite feature for sure is this uh, end buttstock. Um, has a sharp 45. I believe for striking uh, ferro rods, as well as just a general use to protect the end butt of your handle. And also, this is great for tons of stuff from breaking up uh, nuts and cracking crabs to, you know, I can, I'm sure you can imagine all the uses that uh, something like that would be good for. So, um, it's just gorgeous all the way through. There's just not a damn thing I can find wrong with it. Um, this will be a knife I'll use for the rest of my life. Put some love, put some use into it, and enjoy it. And it's a worker for sure. So, so there she is, my K-Bar from Rebar. If you uh, haven't checked out his channel, go show him some love. If you enjoyed uh, checking out my knife with me, give me a like and a subscribe. And um, more stuff along this line is coming along in my channel. So I hope you all have a really great day out there.